Well, we had a, um, I'm, I'm uh, this? glad all three of you, or all four of you here, but um, you, I, you probably know we had a, a great meeting. I think there were, I was there and, and uh, representatives of like four other council members' offices, I think, to meet with the Dale Drive Safety Coalition recently and, and KB to talk about the urgent need to improve um, pedestrian safety between Colesville Road and Georgia Avenue. Um, and to, um, and, and we discussed many different approaches to that. Um, <clears throat> many of those have been done, of course, as you know, east of Colesville Road, you know, down to Wayne for, for, you know, in previous years. But on Dale Drive for that whole stretch of it, it's entirely residential. Folks walk out of their house, you know, with small kids or a baby stroller or whatever and have no sidewalk, um, but also no just, um, besides sidewalks, other enhancements to the road to, to uh, um, maintain pedestrian safety. So they're interested in lowering the speed limit, but while we're at a CIP hearing, I do want to sp speak up for anything you can do um, to quickly implement some of the strategies that KB recommended in that uh, meeting, which include enhanced uh, crosswalks, new signage. Um, he, he thinks that drivers stop uh, uh, are much more likely to stop if they have the signs that, that remind people what the state law says, uh, pedestrian refuges, um, um, strength and shoulder, and uh, a few other things. So I don't know if you want to comment on that, but I wanted to sure. advocate for that. We've had, we had a very constructive meeting with the uh, Dale Drive group back in the fall, I think it was in October, where they sort of identified a number of locations where they'd like improvements. Um, that's followed up, obviously, over the last several months where uh, data collection has been conducted on traffic volumes and other characteristics. We've started to look at what kind of um, short-term safety improvements, signage, islands, bulb outs, uh, other things that can be done to improve the conditions you've talked about. We've coordinated with the highway uh, division to see whether there's sort of minor improvements that can be made to the shoulder to improve the connectivity of the shoulders and the condition. There are some issues with deterioration of those and gaps. Um, and we have money in our pedestrian safety CIP, which is before you today. There's about $150,000 allocated for implementation of those improvements this summer, um, or maybe dragging into the fall, but we're hoping to address the most critical needs there. Obviously, the corridor is very challenging in terms of utility location, topography, and other features that mm -hmm. make it difficult to implement wholesale changes, but we'll try to address the most critical needs right. um, the, within the next year. As you know, the topography there Enhance the uh, exacerbates the pedestrian hazard Absolutely. because drivers can't see around many of the curves or over the hills. Um, that's that's good to hear. Is 150,000 enough? And do you think you'll get the work done this summer and stretching a little bit into the fall? As you yeah, said? that's our that's our target is to have it done before the ne end of the next construction season in the fall. And that includes bump outs, enhanced crosswalks, and signage, markings, eyelids, signage, yeah. and markings. Yep, that's our great. Plan. Okay, thanks, and I look forward to staying in touch with you on this project.